Hello everyone, this is Jess. Uh, it has been a few days since I posted and I have uh, been playing with my fountain pens quite a bit and uh, since last time I posted I also got a few more. Um, yeah, we always getting more fountain pens and so I want to uh, share, th share them with you here. Um, so I have the amount of fountain pen I have is to a point where I cannot really just ink whatever I got uh, immediately. So I have quite a few that ha I haven't inked up, but just want to share some with you. So first, this is a Lamy Vista. Um, my husband got this for me when he's on a business trip and he asked me what I want. I said, oh, if you can see what kind of station around him you can find and then he ends up gave me a uh, he ends up uh, got me a Lamy. This is a medium, a uh, nib medium size nib which I don't have. Uh, I yeah when I got the chance I will um, break into it to to play with a little bit more. And I also got a few more um, uh, pens that are manufactured in China or like the Chinese brands. So first is a Hongdian, an M2. So this is a pocket pen. Wow, this is a the fanny. I don't know if you can see it. The fanny is it's kind of like a yin yang cat. It's kind of cute. So I think on their uh, on their some of their website they claim this is like a mini version of the Black Forest. Um, maybe the style is a little bit similar. But yeah, this is also a very interesting pen because I, I really like their coated black nibs. So I figure I'll get another one as a pocket version. So, and this is actually pretty, pretty light. I, I bought this because I was wondering if I want another pocket size pen. And I found this is way more affordable than a Kaweco aluminum. So that's why I got the um, Hongdian M2 and this is kind of the size comparison with a uh, Kaweco uh, and then this pen came with a clip and a converter <laughs> that's something I really like about the Chinese pens that they always come with a converter that's fit and I don't need to like buy an extra one but I haven't in this app either uh yeah <laughs> But um, that is because um, I finally got my hands on something I have been eyeing for a while, which is the hickory brown colorway of the Larmy, uh, the sorry, the Kaweco Art Sports. So this is also a fine nib. I got it secondhand, so I didn't, uh, I don't have the the options other than a fine nib. But this writes very, very, very well. So because I clean out my uh, Faber-Castell bronze hexo, I use this pen to put in the... Um, uh, dye my chocolate brown cartridge inside because I still have those. Yeah, this is definitely my favorite... My favorite uh, dark brown, like a neutral brown. It doesn't lean either warm or cold. Yeah, I, I really like this. Yeah, and the pen is quite cool. Yeah. So, yeah. So this is my second Kuiko, and also I also bought this. Kuiko students also is a brown color because this is also brown so I didn't ink this up um, so like these are all some of my newer pens um, oh and I also got two BBS pen BBS pens um, so one is a model 480 so this is kind of the conial shaped um 
and then this is the 499 499 so this is like a bronze brass copper i think they claim it's like a copper i think this is uh like the full metal pen it also came with the converter but both both pen came with the their fine long blade nib i think this uh this pen is pretty heavy this bronze pen is almost like yeah 45 grams yeah this is pretty heavy so um i'm not sure if i want to use it for long writing sessions but it looks kind of cool <laughs> it's like a totally gold pen yeah mm, that's very interesting but i do ink this pen up so i have been hearing a lot of good things about pen bbs pens especially like i think on youtube um inquiry mind uh, the channel Inquiry Mind by Dog has been uh, like reviewing quite a few of their pens. But um, so I do really want to experience what the what the, the ink or like what the pen is is about. Uh, but the issue is pen BBS pens is that I they're all their colorways. It's just not that appealing to me. Like all those very, um, like a cute, <laughs> light colored acrylics. It's just not as appealing. So I was trying to find some very interesting colorway for me, but a lot of them are uh, have been sold out. I think because of the manufacturer from Pin BBS is relatively small, so they don't really can like make a lot of pens by demand um but i find this color which is uh, kind of uh, aligned with my personal uh, personal uh taste so i got this one it does write pretty very very well um yeah, this is the diamond music Tchaikovsky color, so it's kind of like a bluey, like purpley blue. Um, that's what the ink looks like. It's a very, very pretty ink. I I have been using quite a lot of my diamond inks recently, and then all of them performs very well. Pen BBS four eighty in fine long blade, I think. Yeah. I, I I do really enjoy using this pen and then the uh if to compare it with some other pen by size so that's how I compare it to a Lamy. Yeah this is a like a good size pen relatively light good uh girls very user friendly I would say glides on the paper with no issue yeah very very nice pen and I also got my second Pelican gold nib. So this is their um, um this is their M four hundred. So I I don't know why I always write the ink first, but I guess I, if since I already started, I'll just write it this way. Tarot the full. Yeah, this is this is uh, what I consider like a reddish brown, and uh, I know that this pelican always runs pretty wet, so I put this ink in, in since it's slightly lighter. Uh, I find it's uh, uh, this pen. This is this is a medium. This is a medium pelican. I was expecting this to be like gushing, <laughs> uh, but it's not that 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 crazy uh but it works very well with this ink so i enjoy writing with this very much and i really like this color i know that there are some some maybe vendors are selling new ones but those for me are a little bit uh overpriced so i hunted down on ebay and find the second hand Mm, and I also believe this is relative their older batch because the barrel is pretty transparent for me to see what's inside. Yeah, so this is my new pelican. Um, actually, what I want to talk about 
um, today, um, most importantly, is the is the S Vine uh, V one twenty six, mainly because I finally got my hands on the Pilot Custom A twenty three. Um, because when I write when I got my uh as vine as vine, I find this pen very 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 interesting and very good when uh write with it. And uh, this is such a such a good, like, affordable, and also classic and uh, like pretty very very well built pen. Um, I will. Do I have to write the color uh, in color down? So basically, that 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 is the blue, deep blue color. Um, let me see if I can find the name of the ink. <laughs> yeah, I never, I can never remember the name of the ink. Blue the profounder. Yeah, I I don't know how to pronounce it, but that's the deep blue, blue gray color, or like a blue black. Deep sea blue. Uh, I have been using this pen with this ink quite a bit, and uh, what's nice about the uh, Asvan is I bought this pen with a extra fine nib, but I also find it so pleasant to write with. Like with extra fine nib, there's no scratchiness, no any issue. But I just love this pen so much, so I went on eBay to. Get a set of uh, as one nibs. Uh, it's it's that those cost like a uh, maybe around fifteen bucks um for three of them. So I I'm able to interchange the nibs of from different sizes from extra fine to fine to medium. I think their most thickest uh, nibs is the medium. So I'm writing with this right now, and this is such a pleasant writing experience. And sometimes I. I have been writing with this pen so much that I, I already formed the muscle memory to taste the end finial whenever I got a pen. And sometimes it's a piston filler. I kind of get a, I made a mess just by twisting the end um too much, but because I I find this pen so so good, I was wondering is this comparable to like the Pilot A twenty three, which is such a pen that a lot of people have been swarmed by they just claim this to be their the best pen they have ever experienced if they only have one pen that probably will be it i've heard a lot about it or like read about all about it online so i was very very curious like is this really that good and then how is this uh pilot custom a23 compared to my less than 30 dollar um as my v2 uh v126 so I eventually got this, and uh, again, to um, full dis disclosure, I got this secondhand. So whichever I experience, just maybe uh, take it with a grain of salt because I don't have the brand new pen. I got it from resale. I don't know what they did to the pen. I'm assuming nothing uh, has been adjusted, uh, but that's my experience that... Um, uh, so the the ink I use here is there uh, is the Pelican Pelican four zero zero one in blue black. Um, and then the nib itself is a the nib itself is a fine nib. So, but I noticed that this fine nib compared to the fine nib from other pens, even their own pilot pens. I have a Metropolitan, and I also have a, a Cavalier. That's fine. Um, custom A twenty three. So I think this uh this uh custom A twenty three is slightly wetter than the other pilots, uh steel nibs. At least the ones I have. So, yeah, this is the Cavalier. This is the Cavalier fine. 
so when I first start to write with this pen, I I find this pen a little bit a little bit scratchy. I I was wondering what I did. Um, I I didn't expect that to happen, and then I realized that because I'm so used to writing with some pens that are drier or like uh, have a steel nib that's more stiff, I kind of press the pen too hard to write with this. But uh, if I write, I don't know what I should write here. Maybe just uh, transcribe something, maybe. Mm. Mm. I I noticed that if I write it with a very light pressure, and uh, it just glides on the paper, it glides and the the nib is very soft and uh, flexible, not to the point that it's hard to control, but very com comfortable to write with. Uh, it also gives uh, some sort of a very pleasant feedback that has you can feel the feedback from the paper to this pen. So I think this is definitely some of the best pens I have in my collection, especially when I consider I currently like to use nibs that are a little bit not as extra fine, ultra extra fine nibs. I like the pens to have some fluidity and some like, like just easy to write with. This is definitely a very, very, very good pen to write with. But... <laughs> Uh, I have to say, uh, like this pen, I think, um, if you buy brand new in on a, um, from a retailer here in the U.S. or like wherever, this will cost hundreds of dollars. And again, this um, as one is just so affordable compared to, um, compared to the Goldney Pilot. I think this is something that's only my, this is only my opinion, and that's how I approach this hobby. I don't mind purchasing some cheaper version of a very well, like well acknowledged pen, on like with the purpose of testing the size, testing the, uh, if I like it, or especially, I think the size itself is very important for me, like, I after I use this, I find that maybe the the Pilot A twenty three is a good size for me to to have. Um, and like, but for pens, like, I think this is also uh true to with other models as well. So if you don't know if you, whether or not if you like a like a Pelican four hundred, you can get a cheaper two hundred just to see if you enjoy the size. Of course, the experience of a steel nib and a gold nib will be different. But if you want to just simply figure out uh, whether or not you are, you will be comfortable with the size, you can start to try with some more affordable version. But it, nonetheless, like Pelican steel nib is not cheap anyway. Uh, but that's kind of how I reach for my Jin Hao's. Uh, I know that Jin Hao. 82 is basically a copy of all those uh, um, uh, Pro Gear Slims from Sailor and then the Jinghao 100 are basically copies at least in size towards those uh, um, Parker Dufo. Um So yeah, that's kind of how I see this but it just uh, this as one is just too good it's kind of ruined the experience for me with the uh, custom A23. This is still a great pen, um, but I'd rather keep this with me if there will be a point when I have to keep one. It just simply because this feels great in the hand, looks nice. I have three different size nibs that go with this and I can write with this without any effort. And yeah, that's basically my verdict. I do enjoy my um, S1 V126 very, very much. 
Uh, I don't know if、uh, <laughs> that's a controversial opinion, but yeah, hope if you have a have a custom A twenty three you really really like, and then that's very good for you. Uh, if you're interested in to get one of those, maybe, or like if you're new to, for example, a piston、uh, for like a vacuum filler, or you're afraid those are hard to use, maybe start with the、uh, S Y V one hundred twenty six. This is definitely a very good pen. Yeah, that's、uh, that's what I want to talk about today.、Um, oh. At the end, I guess I, what I want to <laughs> share is that、uh, because I'm getting so many pens right now, and I have quite a bit I haven't even inked up and used and try. I hope I can like take more time with my currently owned stuff and pause on getting new and more things. Although I still really want to try some flex nib, for example,、um, but I guess I will. I will. Pause on that before I, I experience all my belongings or like the ones that I obtained already.、Um, if I have to say I have a、uh, something I I'm aiming for,、uh, I do hope I can have a.、Um, I I can get one of the Pelican A hundred. I'm wondering if eight hundred or one thousand will be good for my hand. Um, but to be to be completely honest, the the M six hundred currently is just simply the best pen I have. I consider this is the best pen in my collection. I'm just curious what eight hundred will be feels like, and then, uh, that will be a eighteen karat gold nib instead of a fourteen. Um. So whether or not that will make a difference, I guess that's going to be something I will discover later, maybe. But yeah. So this is the. This is the Pelican. Um, six hundred, with a extra fine nib. Yeah. So. That's all I want to share with you today, and that's all, I guess. Bye. Have a nice end of the March. Bye.